Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Darren Gidman from GuitarControl.com bringing you this video lesson. Uh, today I want to show you uh, three easy songs for beginners that uh, you can play almost just right away, even if you've only been playing guitar for a very short amount of time. Uh, these are uh, simple songs, but they're they're fun to play and they're, they're popular tunes. So let's uh, get up close and take a look what we got going on here. All right, so first we have um, Chasing Cars by Snow Patrol. And uh, this is a really, really, really easy song. So we start off, um, we go to the seventh fret of the fourth string with your first finger, and the, uh, the ninth fret of the third string uh, with your third finger. Or you could use your fourth finger, you know, if, you know, maybe if you're not used to making, you know, stretches yet and stuff, maybe your, you know, your fourth finger might be easier for you. Uh, well, this is basically the shape that's going to be throughout this whole, uh, whole riff. And it's all based in eighth notes, so we just simply pick the fourth string and then the third string. So one and two, one and two and three and four and. So that's the uh, first two measures: is that one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And then on the next measure, you just simply flatten the note on the fourth string from the seventh to the sixth fret. And so I just slide my first finger down uh, one fret to do this. Um, we have two measures of that. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And then the next measure, you just simply remove your first finger. So now the fourth string is open, but we're still at the ninth fret on the third string. Two measures of this. Then you put your first finger back down where we started on the seventh fret of the fourth string, and two more measures. So the whole sequence Can't get much easier for a beginner song than that. All right, so next we have uh, Last Kiss uh, by Pearl Jam. Um, this is actually a remake. I, I don't remember who originally did this song um, a long, long time before Pearl Jam did, but they, uh, the version of it that most, you know, people are familiar with, you know, younger people, is going to be the Pearl Jam version of it. All right, so this song um, just uses uh, four chords. So the chords we have are G major. <laughs> So we've got the uh, um, third fret of the sixth string with your second finger, second fret of the fifth string with your first finger. Strings four and three are open, and third fret of the second string with your third finger, third fret of the first string with your fourth finger. And that's G. Uh, then from there we go to um, E minor. So sixth string open. Second fret of the uh, fifth string with your second finger, second fret of the fourth string with your third finger, and strings three, two, and one open. Now you could also do the same thing if you wanted to. You could use your first and second finger to fret those. Um, this is just the way I've always done it, so I'm kind of used to that. Uh, then we have C. So we've got uh, third fret of the fifth string with your third finger, second fret of the fourth string with your second finger, third string open. First fret of the second string with your first finger and first string open. C and then D. Fourth string open. Second fret of the third string with your first finger. Third fret of the second string with your third finger. And second fret of the uh, uh, first string with your second finger. All right, so, um, you know, if you. You know, make sure you click on the link in the description to get the tabs um, so it would be easier to follow along with. All right, so the strum for this, we start with G, and it's down, down, up, up, down, up. So we're, we're playing, uh, uh, we're starting on the downbeat of one. So it's like one, two, and then on the and of two is an upstroke. So one, two, and three, and four, and. One, two, and three, four, and. And it's 
the same strum for each chord. So we're on G, down, down, up, up, down, up to E minor, down, down, up, up, down, up to C, down, down, up, up, down, up to D, down, down, up, up, down, up. So that's, that's the riff that repeats. It's the same in the verse as it is in the chorus. So it, it just repeats. Um, and then when it leads into the chorus, it does have a slight change that um, I'll, I'll show you in just a second. So we've just got... So when it goes into the chorus, you just strum the G and it's a whole note and then you rest for two measures and then the whole thing basically just starts over again. So. So, um, fairly simple song. Uh, just you know, get those chords down. And if you know, if you're if you're really a beginner, just get the transitions down, and you'll uh, you'll be able to play a, a cool song like right away. All right, and then the last one is uh, the only exception by Paramore. And so for this song, we're going to need to use a capo on the fourth fret. Uh, the song only uses three chords, um, two of which you already know from the last. Uh, lesson we did. So we start off, we've got that G, and then we have D minor. So when we make this transition from G to D minor, your ring finger, your third finger, is already where it needs to be on the third fret of the second string. And this is in reference to the capo. Uh, so when you make that change from G, you just move your first finger to the first fret of the first string and your second finger to the second fret of the third string. Leave your third finger where it is and then strum starting on the fourth string. The fourth string is open. And then from that, it's that C chord that we did before. And this is another easy transition. Just move your first finger from the second to the first string, your second finger from the third to the fourth string, and your third finger from the second to the fifth string. All right, so the, the rhythm for this, and it's just the same thing, whether it's the verse or the chorus, it's just extremely repetitive, is we have down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. So it's one, two, and three. And this is in three quarter time, so it's just in three beats per measure. So down, down, up, down, up to D minor, down, down, up, down, up to C. So the whole, uh, and then that, that sequence just re repeats. So the whole chord progression slowly is. So um, I hope you uh, liked that and you got something out of it. Uh, like I said, this, this lesson is really aimed at the beginners. You know, it's just to be able to uh, play something that's, you know, fun to play and recognizable, you know, uh, early on. I remember that was a frustration I had when I first started playing is that I was playing songs that, you know, I'd never even heard before. You know, they weren't, you know, like newer songs. They were just, you know, weird abstract things that uh, my teacher, you know, chose for me to play. So I hope you have fun with these. Um, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. I'll leave a comment down below uh, if there's anything you'd like to see, either myself or one of the other instructors at guitarcontrol.com doing a future lesson. Anyway, until next time.